The main goal of our work is to take as input a few examples of a type of motion, learn a model of these examples, and generate spatial and temporal variants of them. We show results for five types of human motion. The inputs are similar to each other, but slightly different. The outputs are similar to the inputs, but are not exact copies. Note the spatial and temporal variations in the outputs. In each frame, we intentionally match the left arm position as much as possible, so that we can better see the spatial variation in the right arm. Here are results for walk cycles. Here are results for some swimming motion. Our method can generate a continuous stream of cycles. Here are results for football throws. Here are results for jumping. For 2D handwritten characters, there are two degrees of freedom the X and Y positions of the handwritten strokes. We can use the same algorithm for this kind of data. Note the spatial and temporal variations in the green outputs. Here are results for the handwritten digit 2. For experiment A, the users watch a mixture of our variants and motion capture clips. For each clip, we ask the users to provide a numeric score from 1 to 9 of how natural they think the human motion is. The user scores for the cheering motions are summarized here. The main result is that our variants are just as natural as motion capture clips. For experiment B, the users watch a mixture of our variants and cycle animation sequences. A cycle animation is a long sequence where we repeatedly and randomly pick from the four input cheering motions. For each long sequence, we ask the users to provide a numeric score from 1 to 9 of how often the individual clips are exactly replayed in the long sequence. Our variants are long sequences with clips generated from our approach. These clips are all slightly different. The user scores are summarized here. The main result is that our variants are less repetitive than cycle animation. We use a straw man or naive method to add noise to motion capture data. Here are some examples. We found that adding noise this way can lead to obviously unnatural motions. We also try to add noise with the Perlin noise function. Here are some examples. We found that much manual tuning is required in order to add noise the right way. Our approach needs four or more of the inputs that work. Intuitively, the inputs that work are similar when plotted in a graph like this one. The same is true for human motion with many degrees of freedom. Our approach works for similar types of inputs. We developed a method to select similar inputs from raw data.